What's up, Taurus? It's me, the Sunlight Oracle, and I'm here with your reading for the dates of August 16th through the 31st. 2021. Thank you for selecting this channel, my friend. This card has just fallen out for you. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And let's get started. We get the King of Pentacles. Taurus, are you in your element or what? Check this out. There's you. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are actually kind of in a provider position right now. Uh, those of you who are in partnerships or even just like really close friendships or with roommates, you're kind of the rock. And Taurus, I feel like you're you're often in this position, okay? You're really used to it. You're known as a sign, a fixed sign, a consistent, a constant, reliable sign that also is used to being the, the shoulder that other people cry on, you know? And so I want to say in Leo season here, in these latter, these latter two weeks of August, I feel like you're just really feeling yourself. But there's also, there's acceptance of that, but I also feel like there's a little bit of wondering if anyone's gonna take care of you as well. It's a normal, normal thought <laughs> when you're so used to being the rock. We'll take this top one. Here we get the seven of pentacles. Yeah, that's the thing is that I feel like you're also in, you're in this headspace of working really hard on something. Maybe it's a business, maybe it's just an idea about a business. But the, the thing is like the seeds have been planted. Like, so if it is an idea about a business, perhaps you're receiving certain training regarding this. Um, but what I'm seeing is that you're in this phase of things have not quite, you have not quite made it. You have not quite achieved your dreams or the project has not fully come to fruition. And so it can be hard to be in this position, even though you're naturally inclined to it, you know, like not, this is your nature in the archetype of Taurus. Uh, but then you're crossed by like, oh, I have my own struggles and my own I had like patience issues and I have my own uh, things that are not quite working out. And can I turn to anyone to talk about them? Can I have a shoulder to cry on if I need it? Because I feel that whatever you're working here, working on here with the seven of pentacles is something that has required like blood, sweat and tears sort of thing. And it, it challenges your chill nature. Your, your chill is challenged, is what I'll say. And uh, perhaps you're sort of looking for someone, someone outside of yourself to rely on through this, okay? Maybe you're disappointed by people who you don't feel like are listening to. I feel like you don't feel listened to. Like your concerns. I also want to say I feel like you're minimizing your, your concerns and your struggle. Like you're someone who's going to step aside and be like, oh, actually, it's no problem. Like, actually, my problems are not problems. Uh, let me try to be there for everyone else's problems. And Taurus, like I said, in your nature, you, you are so loyal and stable that that can feel like a safe place for you. But growth occurs outside of our safe zone, you know, or our comfort zone, rather. Yes, consciously we have the four of pentacles. So I wanna go back to like this, this whole thing that you're in the middle of. It hasn't quite happened yet, right? It's happening, it's growing, but you don't feel satisfied for, for where this project is. And we have a lot of, we have all pentacles here. So again, I do feel like it's money and work related and project related. And so maybe some of you are feeling quite a bit conservative with your funds, with your resources. You don't feel as free. You don't feel like you have as much money as you'd like to do the things you want to do. But you're also in this place where you're like, but I'm, I'm building this amazing project. And perhaps my friends, what I'm feeling is just like, again, this lack of support. But I also want to encourage you to build support from within because I don't see other people being as loyal, as open, as supportive as you have been. That's the thing. Like, <laughs> Taurus, you need support. But first you have to build it from within. Let's look at your subconscious and unconscious. We'll take the bottom one here. We get the seven of cups, my friends. I feel like a lot of you are also, this is, okay, so this is subconscious and unconscious. So you might not be aware of it, you know, you're not supposed to be. It doesn't always make sense when I explain this card. But what I'm gonna tell you is that the seven of cups is indicating that you have a lot of options. So this one thing that you're sort of fixated on that's causing you to be a little bit uh, constricted or restricted with your funds. There are a lot of other options. There are a lot of other ways. You don't have to abandon this, but there are other things you can do and other things that you want to do that maybe are a good idea and some that aren't, you know, so make, maybe make a list. But there are so many other avenues for you to make money, to feel like 
not so stuck, not so like you have to be so patient. And again, I want to, I, this is not a doomed project by any means. There's like every message is saying like to stay, stick with this. But when we hyper fixate on it, that's when we start to operate from a place of lack. And here with the seven of cups, Taurus, you're being encouraged to operate from a place of abundance and abundance of ideas and abundance of, um, income streams or projects, or even people you could work with. Or, or, you know, people who could come in and further support you. There are options, limitless options. And I'm getting like literally every option on this list. So we're going to keep going because doing a collective reading, sometimes the influx of psychic information is just overwhelming for me. In the past, we get the fool. You took a chance when you did this. No, no doubt about it. Like you definitely put your neck on the line to build this project. <laughs> and again, I'm just wondering, uh, if Although this is this king of pentacles is in accordance with your true nature of all of the great qualities we've been discussing. I'm wondering like if you've had to put this identity on pause in order to start this project. And now that this project is kind of on pause or feels a little bit stagnant, then maybe it's time to tap back into the fool energy as opposed to the super calculated stable energy. I know that this is in the past, but it looks like it ties in really nicely with starting to take chances again, with starting to open your options, with starting to imagine a future that is in line with your soul. In the future, we get the Queen of Pentacles, lovely. We get the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. Look at that, my friend. You're not ever going to lose <laughs> your nature. You're never, it's always going to be there. It's always going to be the undercurrent. But what happens here in the future with the queen of pentacles is that you become more, I feel like more engaged with others as a provider. You don't have to be this person who does it all alone, right? We get the king and the queen and they both exist within you. But also I, I am hearing like collaboration, risk taking. There's some, there's some stuff that has to be pushed around quite quite seriously in order for this to really start taking off like a well-oiled machine but it's gonna it's gonna happen how is it gonna happen by integrating all there's so many <laughs> tours there's so many personalities here that you carry within you that some you've been compartmentalizing some that have been on pause and you're being encouraged to press play like a play button on every single one of them mm-hmm i hope that this makes sense we're getting heady out here taurus okay who are you at this time? The six of cups. That's great. I feel like you're a very social sign as well. People love your company because again, not only you're, you're a good listener, you're loyal, you're stable, etc. but you, people can also like, they feel relaxed in your presence. And with the six of cups, I feel like you already have this in the seven of cups down here in your subconscious and unconscious, you already have a network. You already have people in your life who would be willing to kind of help you with this, who would be willing to kind of help you expand your, your, your state of mind and your, your options for income. They already exist in your life. You know, there are some people who are much more introverted and not as well connected with a network and they have to go out and build that. You already have that. So how are you going to tap into it? How are you going to be able to let people know that you're not, um, that you can't do it alone or that you could use their help? I feel like that's the fear here is like, it's okay to ask other people for help. They actually want to help you. They adore you. Mm. How can you ask other people for help? That, that's a good, good lesson for you. Here in the environment, we get the Knight of Rods reverse. So I feel like... <laughs> Taurus with energy and what, what you're around right now is you might feel a bit uninspired. Like one day you're feeling like, let's do it. And then the next day it's like, I can't do it. Do you know what I'm talking about? These extremes of yes and no, and yes and no. I think again, in your environment, there are probably a couple of people who aren't supportive. So when you're like, yeah, let's do it. You don't really hear that. Yeah, let's do it back. So that's what I'm saying. Go back to your network, go back to your options, go back to see who else is out there. Cause whoever you're kind of bouncing ideas off of right now, not, I, I don't feel like it's the best move for again, getting this project off the ground. And it's not the best move for being heard. I feel like you're longing to be heard and the, the environment in which you're in and the 
company that you're consistently keeping and the people with whom you're sharing your ideas with maybe aren't the right ones. I'm not saying get rid of them. I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm just saying that this business talk needs to go into the business network and maybe not so much with, you know, there are things that we tell some of our friends and there are th things that we don't tell them, right? Because there are some friends who will cheerlead and support us and there are some friends who will be jealous and or not listen or not care. So, you know, be discerning in who you share this information with. I feel like the environment's a really major influence on you and your ability to not ask for help or your, your ability to ask for help or not. Okay, your hopes and fears. I feel like there's a lot of um, deep-seated fear of risk, risk-taking. Uh, I feel like some of you might feel like you could lose people through this. You could lose, obviously, stability and security in the essence of yourself. But my friends, if you're gonna build this, which I feel like it's really, you've put a lot of work into it, and you also have a lot of other creative ideas that are coming at me from all directions that could also serve to support the project. If you're gonna do that, then you gotta know that risk-taking is kind of everything, right? And I think you're, you're, you can be a bit self-sabotaging in your own ideas surrounding this work sometimes because it's so much easier to say you can't do it than to go forward and do it. It's so much easier to get fixated on the stagnation than to really get down and dirty and start problem solving with the flow, the flow of the idea. So don't blame you for being in this position. And I think what's going to remedy it again is starting to seek like-minded people who are totally on your, um, level about attaining success and following your dreams. Mm -hmm. It's just like your environment isn't quite conducive to it. And it creates this, this, uh, this mindset of lack. Like you think you lack things when really you have it all. It's just a matter of applying it. Oh, nice. In the solution, like where are we going here? The two of rods. I really feel like this project is totally like it, it is worth, um, keeping around, right? But it's also something that you might, again, be able to kind of work on in little bits and pieces while you start something brand new that's already in your subconscious and unconscious mind. It's one of these cups, right? There's something there for you. And it's, it's totally, it's not totally different. It's just like a dream that you had or a, a desire that you've had that you stuffed down a long time ago. So an example I could give you is like, let's say that you, this seven of pentacles project that we have been talking about is like starting a restaurant. Let's just say that for the sake of what the concept I'm explaining. And then we have the two of rods here. This could be writing a book about the cuisine that you're making at this restaurant. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, they are connected. They all contribute to your income and to your success and to your flow in the world, but they're different. Like you're able to unfold different parts of your brain in ways, in different ways to make money. You don't just have to streamline it and you are streamlining it. And that's where the, the, the suffering is coming in, frankly, and the lack is coming in and the doubt and the lack of support from others is coming in. Tap into this fool whom you've been before and add a new project. I know that sounds scary, but add a new project that really soothes a part of your soul that hasn't been soothed in a while. I think this is exciting. Okay, we're gonna pull a card from the Sunlight Oracle deck. I designed this deck. I have four decks left. If you're interested, just leave a comment uh, and I can contact you directly. But I'm never reprinting this, so if you like it, let me know. Oh two want to come out so we'll take them family and flow how many times did i say flow <laughs> in this reading i don't know but it's definitely something that you're working on because of the stagnation and the stagnation occurs because you're in your own way so flow kind of sums up everything we've talked about and family i want to talk about family as it relates to again environment and social conditioning so So for a lot of you, family may be what is totally um, informing your 
I would say your self-worth, but also your, your doubt about yourself, whether or not you could pull this off, whether or not you could do multiple projects at once, whether or not you could do any projects. A lot of our limiting beliefs come from, you know, childhood and social conditioning and family, no matter how well-meaning they are, can, you know, plant the seeds of self-doubt. So that's one thing, but I also see with the Queen of Pentacles here in your future, if those of you are thinking about providing for your family or you feel like you've been disappointing your family or the family that you've created as opposed to your native family, know that the future looks like a place where you can be the provider and that it, it is quite bright. It is quite whole. It is integrated. But there's a call for you, whether you're providing for a family or you're thinking about your native family growing up or both, there's always a call to integrate the self because we can't provide and take care of others until we provide and take care of ourselves. That's, that's uh, a hill that I'll die on. So for those of you who have been thinking about family throughout this reading, know that it does apply and it applies in many different capacities. And for those of you who need permission to get out of your own way, that's what Flo is here to say. So Taurus, this is cool. It's complicated. We're in the thick of the year. You're doing great. And if this resonates, let me know. Until next time, have a great day.